Hello scrappers! Tonight I'm going to be scrapping this. This is the burner controls out of a barbecue grill. Now the whole entire barbecue grill is just steel. It was one of the older ones. There was nothing really good on it. I went through it with a magnet. And this, this is all the business end. So I quickly unscrewed this. And now it's magnetic stainless. And the, everything else is just regular steel. So the regular steel already went to the scrap yard. And I'm harvesting the better metals, the more valuable metals. Now this, these are the burner controls. There's usually a lot of brass parts in here. Uh, maybe not in this one. That's aluminum and that's brass. So we'll be taking this apart and we'll be harvesting the, uh, the brass out of these. What's that? Oh, that's the igniter. That's neat. So this must be one of those push in. Oh, oh that was smart. Yeah, that's how you ignite them. <laughs> I'm awake now. So let's all separate this from the big bulkiness. Now, I don't have a low-grade stainless bucket. Yeah, sticky stainless, I call it. I've been just throwing this in with my tin. That sounded like plastic. That's plastic. We'll get the screws out of it at least. We got some 400 grade stainless, uh, low grade sticky stainless we call it. Turn the scale on. About two and a quarter pounds of um, magnetic stainless. Let's start harvesting some of this brass. Now I'm gonna clip, clip these hoses just to make this thing a little easier to work with. What are these? That's all brass, these fittings. That's brass, all right. A good way to tell whether it's brass or stainless. The color. See that? No sparks and it's brassy colored. So we got some brass. Let's see how much more brass we got here. We got this other fitting. Magnets are your friend. Ouch. I do recommend wearing gloves and uh, eye protection. It's like I'm so used to not having a vice that I do everything the dumb way still. Oh, he's got to go this way. Like a pipe wrench. They're more, the teeth are leaning one way and the mechanical advantage works one way better than it does the other, like a pipe wrench. There's some more brass. Some tin. Get this hose off. Now you could heat this up with a to uh, torch and pull the rubber out. No, thank you. There I go, doing everything the dumb way. I keep forgetting I got a vice. I'm used to doing it the dumb way. I'm institutionalized. Doing it the dumb way for too long. 
And you forget that there's a smart way to do it. Yeah, wasn't that much better than doing it the dumb way? Lost a piece of tin on the floor. Some screws together. And what are these screws made out of? Are these screws stainless by any chance? Nope. There's that piece. And this is more tin. I see screws in here holding this together. Kind of want to separate. We'll get this brass nipple out. And put it in at an angle like that so I can get this screw out. These ones out too. So, is this brass? It is not brass, but I do want to get it out of the cast aluminum. That's brass. That's not. Uh oh. Let's switch to flat. Maybe the flat will work. Almost gave myself another belly button. So it looks like that gets to stay in there. But I will be plicking out this piece of brass here. The brass jet. And another, that's brass. That's brass too. So this is cast aluminum. Except for that, but we'll sneak that in the scrap here. I don't know about that. They don't have to know about that. We always clean it up the best we can. They're about to get, oh, there's a. There's a little clip on it. Mixing my, mixing my brass in with my screws. Let's see if we can get this little clip off. Like a little snap ring almost. Maybe I can get at it with smaller cutters. Kind of pull it out. Maybe it slides off. gonna be a pain right in the bum maybe maybe we can break the cast aluminum there goes that little pin so now we know how to get it off the other sides oh 
Oh, it didn't fully come off. But it's just about fully off. And this is not brass, but we got some cast aluminum. So now we know how to clean these up easier. We'll start with using the vise. I'm going to start with this screw first since this is the one that gave us the hard time on the other one. Kind of neat. What is this thing made out of? Goes in the screw bucket. There's the igniter. The electrocute the idiot button. So that one gets to stay on there too. Be nice if I didn't leave everything in that garage for years to get all corroded and crusty. I just made more work for myself. More brass. Now we're going to separate. Get some of the crap out of this cast aluminum here. Get this nice piece of brass. Cast aluminum. Now we remember that this sucker can just be forced through. I've never taken apart one of these strikers, one of these electronic igniters, but I'm going to throw this in my copper bearing bucket. Just like that, much easier. See, once you find an easier way to do something, you remember it. So next time I scrap one of these, I'll go straight to the smart way and not the dumb way. Sometimes you gotta do it the dumb way first. More brass, more cast aluminum, some more screws and such. I'm give us another squeeze, just like the other ones. That's about as far as it'll go. More cast aluminum. Making out pretty good here. Kind of try to find a way to mount it so I can do everything all at once. Put the screw out.
piece of brass. See if I can get this little piece of uh, brass out of here. It's actually quite little. I've scrapped a bunch of barbecue grills. There's always a good little score of brass in them. And it is worth all the extra work. Because, you know, we are in tough times now. Scrap prices usually drop, I mean, uh, usually go up during tough times. But I don't think they're going to go uh, do anything this time. Can't believe what's going on in our country right now. Can't believe they would do this to us. More people die daily in car accidents than they do from the coronavirus. More people die from the common cold every day than they do the coronavirus. The Democrats know they can't beat Trump, so they're just trying to destroy his economy. No, I just know it's political. And they all cashed in their stocks before they crashed the stock market. So you know something's up. They knew the stock market was going to crash. That's why they all cashed in their stocks. I don't know who to believe anymore. I don't know who to trust. My state, Massachusetts, were under a state of emergency. The National Guard are rolling through, the, rolling through town right now. All the guns and all the gun shops are disappearing off the shelf. The Knicks background check is up 300%. A lot of people bought guns. A lot of people are scared about the government. A lot of people are nervous over this. We are just about done. Oh, no, I got the regulator still. We're going to get through this, though. We're going to pull through. I think we're going to turn out better than before. Because restaurants that would have never dreamed of delivering are delivering now. And businesses found ways to work around this. So they're going to be stronger now. We're cast aluminum. I'm losing, lost some of it. And now I want to get this chunk of brass out. How do I do that? Looks like it threads out, but I got to get this plastic off first. Maybe I can crush it and break it. Maybe not. Maybe I can break it with the hammer that did it that was the easy way that's why you got to wear safety glasses if you're gonna do dumb stuff like I do how do I grab hold of this Maybe I should try grabbing hold of this. That seems more intelligent. Try to go this way. Am I tightening it? I think it's time for a new pair of channel locks.
There we go. We unscrewed the whole thing. We are just about done. So that's all brass. Except for that hunk of plastic. Scrapyard can have that too. I've never cut one of these open. I imagine there's just a diaphragm in there. I've never wasted my time to cut one of these open. I'm just gonna throw this in a cast aluminum bucket. And call it quits. There we go. Cut the hose close. Gather up some more little tin bits. We'll get the last little bit of our brass. We'll see how we did. Brass. That's it. So, some more cast aluminum. We got a little over, tiny bit over five pounds. Zero to scale out. So now we got magnetic stainless. We got about two and a quarter pounds of magnetic stainless. I'm just gonna throw it in my tin bucket. Along with this piece of tin. Throw up my scrap trailer, I mean. I'll get all this tin out of here too. So we had three pounds of tin, a little over three pounds. For the screw bucket. And we had about a pound of cast aluminum for a cast aluminum bucket. And now for the good boat. I've never taken these apart. I don't know what's inside of them. I'm just gonna call them copper bearing. Now for the good part, the brass. There we go. Oh, a little over half a pound. Nine and a half ounces. It's a good little score. Worth the extra work. So, just remember guys, scrap is everywhere. All you gotta do is find it, sort it, and hoard it. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.